Hi everyone, Amy Kennedy here, ceramic artist from Melbourne, Australia. This week's video is about the power of a group and how it can sometimes grip us in and make it difficult for when we want to step outside of that group to do something that is a little bit different. And this was inspired by a conversation I had earlier in the week with an artist who is about to join my Evolve program, which I'm really excited about. And she was telling me how she works in this particular art form and the community that she works in with her friends and colleagues that she's been in for many years, they do things in a certain way. These are the systems, these are the standards, these are the expectations, and no one sort of deviates from that. But the thing is, she wants to step outside of that and pursue the thing that she really wants to do. So she's pulled towards that, but then she's pulled back towards the group because she's concerned what are they going to think about her if she sort of puts her head a little bit outside of what is normal. So it's risky, it feels really risky. And I can totally relate to this. And I don't know if I told her this exact story in our conversation, but hopefully she's listening here. When I started doing my programs a few years ago and started doing these videos, it was felt really risky too, because in my direct art community, I didn't see a lot of people doing that. And what really helped in those early stages, which are the really important stages, is that I had really good support from important people in my life. And I had people in different industries sort of modeling that sort of uh, action, you know, taking a step forward into new territory towards something that they really wanted to do. So I was around that sort of energy and momentum. And the other thing that was really useful is that I played to my strengths. I worked out where my strengths were. And I knew that I had value and I could help people with these programs. And so I had that underlying and I did my research as well. And what I found over the last few years is that my thoughts that people might judge me or think bad things about me just sort of evaporated. And instead, people are so positive all the time, like you guys on Instagram and Facebook. And people will say, you know, wow, that's really cool what you're doing. So interesting. You know, tell me more about it. And I have found that the community has grown and connection has extended because of this. And I really think this is what's going to happen to this artist is that when she does step away from what is normal, she is going to illustrate to the group what can be possible and possibly even wake them up a little bit and inspire them to think, wow, we've been doing this all these years in this way. Maybe we could do something a little bit different. Who makes the rules anyway sort of thing. And she could inspire people who have, ideas of doing something different, but they sort of shut it down to actually pursue that. So I think that the whole group mentality thing, like as humans, we, we so much want to feel uh, belonging and connected and acceptance. And when we want to move away from that, even just a little bit, it feels really risky. But if you can possibly incorporate some of these things that I mentioned, like getting support, having good people modeling it, maybe in different industries of what you want to do, doing your research and really using your strengths and knowing your strengths, I think this can help. So I hope that's useful for you. Thank you for listening and I will see you next week.